What is going on guys and girls? Today I want to talk a little about the new hero which will be introduced in the For Honor universe and it's called the Magi. It will be, it will be available on July 28th in just a few days. And uh, I don't want to talk about um, like the moves and shit. I just want to uh, talk and uh, express my thoughts on the hero overall. Uh, based on what I saw, based on what we saw on the Ubisoft presentation. The first thing that I want to mention is uh, I'm absolutely not impressed with the hero. Uh, there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, I thought that it would be something more unique, I guess, because uh, what we get here is just an overall mediocre hero without any super, you know super OP shit, even not super unique, I would say. There are some interesting things about this hero, but overall, I, ex I expected something on the level of craziness that we get when we get Kyoshin with all these, you know, undodgeables and full block stance and uh, all that crazy shit. Uh, something on the level of the incredibly overpowered uh, you know, pirate, uh, which is still, she's still pretty fucking insane with all these insane dodges and target switching and fucking insanity she just flies across the screen. You can't even catch her. Midjai on the other side, on the other hand, is uh, just your overall standard jack of all trades, like the Ubisoft devs uh, said themselves. What is unique about Magi is that he has uh, uh, also two stances, and he uh, and and by the stance I mean he can transform his weapon from the staff type of weapon into the dual wielding axis, like the berserker kind of stance. And the playstyle is very different. Uh, in the staff uh, stance, you uh, basically is kind of a raider type of character with you know big swings and decent hitbox uh, while it transform into the berserker type of stance with uh, where he just kind of pulls his staff in, in two and uh, gets the two little axes in his hand uh, this is more aggressive offensive uh, dual style stance um, Another unique thing about the Magi is that he has two fucking sets of uh, of fits on this character. This is truly unique, something that we've never seen before. Uh, he has one set of fits for the uh, staff stance and another uh, set of fits for the uh, dual uh, dual axe uh, stance. And uh, they uh, work like simultaneously. So if you switch from one sense to another, you instantly get all the feats available to you. This is pretty unique. Uh, the staff, sta uh, the staff uh, stance um, is more defensive. It reduces the damage. While the dual wielding um, X stance is more offensive. You deal more damage to the enemy. I think this makes the character really versatile, so he kind of becomes more defensive. Uh, let's say you're going into the minion, and uh, you need more like def become more defensive when people start ganking you. At the same time, if you see if there's one-on-one -on -one duel coming, you go into the you know more offensive stance, and you become more aggressive and deal more damage. I think this is really cool idea. I enjoy it, but. At the same time, once again, we've seen all that, we have all that already. Some of the animations that I see here is, have been actually kind of stolen from Shaolin, like the stance with the staff looks to be a little bit borrowed from the shower, as well as some swings have been borrowed from the Raider kind of and Hitakiri. Some of the moves that you can see, these basically reused animations on the Hitakiri. While in this dual uh, X stance, you obviously see the moves from the Berserker as well. So this is kind of sad. I think they have reused quite a lot of shit here. And overall, you know, uh, compared to, like I said, uh, the uh, the uh, Pirate and the Kyoshin, I think this is a little bit uh, weird. 
because Kyoshin really like stood uh, stood out from the rest because of how unique his move set was of the full black full block and this and all that stuff you know is like very unique pirate has also stood out like greatly the pistol shit and the you know the uh, the bash light stuff as well should have really stood out but Magi, Magi, I, I think he doesn't really stand out, like, at all. He's just a mix between the two uh, already existing heroes, the Raider and the Berserker, which kind of bothers me, because I think that uh, he will be buried uh, deep, you know. He will not get into the meta for sure, because I don't see how with this kind of uh, gameplay... And game style and uh, these mechanics on this hero, we can he can be in the meta. He doesn't really stand out. He doesn't really have something that is really really cool and makes him like OP. It's just a general decent character with something decent. I mean, the bash light is super fast as you can see, but overall doesn't really stand out. Once again, the hit boxes they not really like anything extraordinary the hitboxes are okay but they're not like crazy or something you know the the dual uh x hitbox is really shit like the berserker maybe even like the shaman something like that uh the staff hitbox is definitely not a uh, not unlike jj is kind of raiderish maybe even a uh, shittier than raider so uh you know it's really hard to say but i believe that the hero is just mediocre at best, and this is my big concern. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about the Magi? Did you enjoy the new hero? Did you enjoy what, uh, what you saw on the presentation if you also watched this live? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.